Stream Zero Waste, owned by the Raglan community, and has developed over the last sort of 15 years and, you know, a good partnership with Waikato District Council. Extreme Zero Waste, where $450,000 comes into Extreme Waste in terms of contracts from Council. We turn that into $1.2 million of economic activity and it goes around that community sort of two to three times before it goes into the banking system. Aaron Kiriopa, who takes a surfboard home and turns it into a art piece of three to $15,000, that's the magic. And that's where we'd love to be. We would love to be a resource center for our artisans, for our community, to get functional things that they need, but also to get resources where they can just twist it and turn the magic on. The Recycling Centre is one of the, our biggest assets here in the community. Without the Recycling Centre, half the creative people wouldn't be able to do what they do. Of the people who visit our centre, only one out of every six comes to actually drop rubbish. So again, we've gone from that landfill to a point 15 years later where um, people are mostly coming up here to shop and to recycle. You probably know, my name's Campbell. Uh, I'm the woodyard manager at Extreme Zero Waste. Uh, they decided to, any timber that was reusable in any way, um, bring it over to this side and then we could sell it at a cheap rate to people who wanted it. I've started upcycling stuff, um, so anything that I can turn into something else. Finding a piece of wood and an old cabinet comes in with a stuffed top, I'll clean up the piece of wood, put it on there, clean it up, sell it on. It's the kind of realisation that we used to bury 26 jobs and 1.2 million dollars a year in the ground, you know, it was um, such a waste of resources and waste of opportunity. So for, for me it's about taking the negative impacts of waste and turning them into positive um, benefits for our community, like employment, like environmental restoration.